day was a little hard to get up because everything was wet and it was a little cold but too hot with our jackets on so it was a little frustrating to get everything situated um, the rain has stopped at a moment but I'll also show a clip here of what the trail looked like earlier it was just like a river um, and we are headed to Zealand Hut Zealand Hut and hopefully we can get another work for stay but if we can't um, then we'll just stealth camp somewhere when we can find a spot yeah. hopefully the rest of the day goes as well thanks guys bye what you doing down there why? Because I fell in a bog. Oh, you fell in a bog. Look at the mud, guys. All up her butt, on her legs. Now it's time to sit down. It's an AT shower right here. Or I guess AT bath. Oh gosh, that was gross. There was a lot of mud in there. So I took my shorts off to try to get them more clean and I might have let go of them and they may have been floating down the stream. <laughs> what did your shorts run away from you? <laughs> They were going right down the stream. <laughs> and we went up to uh, Zealand Falls Hut. Uh, the rain sucked us in for a while. Uh, it rained for the next four days. We uh, were fortunate enough to get a work for stay at the Zealand Falls Hut. Hey guys, hey. we're back. It's been a couple days since we've recorded because the weather has just been awful. It's been raining every single day. Um, we hiked from the Zealand hut up to, what was that mountain? Garfield? No. <laughs> I thought there was some kind of creature coming after me. Sorry about that guys, uh, my pack fell over and I thought there was some kind of creature coming to get me. <laughs> nope. Alright, so we went from Zealand Cliff to Garfield um, Ridge. campsite. Yeah, Garfield Ridge shelter and campsite. And it rained on and off all, that, all day that day and um, like right before we got to Garfield, it there's it poured but there's a little section where, I mean, if, if you were just walking up on the trail, you'd be like, oh, that's a pretty waterfall. But no, it was the trail. Like, mm. we had to climb up a waterfall because it has been raining so much that the trail turned into a waterfall. Um, so I didn't get any footage of that because it was also pouring at the same time, but you'll just have to use your imagination. Um, um, but then we, we hiked out the next day into Lincoln, we hiked over Lafayette, which is uh, Lafayette, Lincoln, and Little Haystacks, also called Franconia Ridge. Mm -hmm. uh, we hiked down into Franconia Notch, and we ended up just staying. We stealth camped that night uh, down by the river, and then the next morning we went to the Notch Hostel. Yeah, uh, Franconia Ridge was uh, kind of scary up there. Um, we were expecting thunderstorms. We didn't get any thunderstorms, but we did get some high winds that knocked me off my feet there. Uh, and it was really cloudy, no views at all. Like it was just really like eerie up there, but kind of reminded us of how our, uh, Katahdin summit was. So that was interesting, but, uh, yeah, we spent two days in town. Um, we did one for resupply and everything. And then um, yesterday we also spent into town. I got myself some insoles for my shoes because the ones that come with the ultras are just like a thin fabric on top of rubber and then the fabric has peeled off over all the wetness it's, and so it was just yeah. a rubber insole that was just like curling up under my feet. So. It's literally like, <laughs> like the worst insole I've ever seen. Like 
a twenty-five dollar pair of shoes at Walmart has a better insole than what the Ultras do, and you pay yeah. over hundred dollars for these. Yeah. So. so I just got some Dr. Scholl's. See how that happens, uh, or how that goes. And um, then we cha we stayed at some guy's place called Chet's Place. Chet's Place. It's kind of an uh, underground yeah. place. It's off the radar. Um. It's it's for. <laughs> It's really is to help, um, I think, more so northbounders who are coming through with a, without, you know, a lot of funds left. Mm -hmm. um, but it also ended up helping us because we spent an extra day in town that we weren't really financially prepared for. Yeah, so that was nice. That was a cool experience. Um, and then today we headed back out to do the Kinsman's. And we caught up with one of our old buddies from the 100 Mile Wilderness we haven't seen since Monson named MacGyver. So yeah, that, that was, was exciting. Cool. We watched him hop across a, a river or more like a creek but looked like a river um, that we were too squeamish to, uh, to try to rock hop. So we forded it and then I looked downstream and I see this crazy guy in orange just jumping across the river. And so I was like, okay, okay. He, he nearly fell in. He so did. I think he we made the right decision because yeah. I, I y'all know, I would have ended up in the river. <laughs> So, I think we made a good call to, yeah. to afford it, but hopefully, as y'all can see, the sun is out right now, but we are expecting thunderstorms. Yeah, scattered thunderstorms this afternoon, 60% chance after like 1 or 2 o'clock and then the rest of the day. Yeah, so and, hopefully uh, weather holds out. Yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Bye. All these downed trees. It's been going on for like, I don't know, what do you think, like half a mile? At least half a mile of just down trees like this. It's crazy. This water is red. It's very weird. Don't you think of the Bible? <laughs> yeah, when the Nile was flowing with blood. Except the mountains have had so much rain, they're done. Ha, <laughs> So we made it over the Kinsman's, and this is the bog. The bog bridge is underwater. That's <laughs> how much rain we've been getting recently. And the trail has been a stream. So I'll definitely have wet feet today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, check back weekly or click the red subscribe button below. And if you want notifications when we do upload, click the bell right next to it. Until then, we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.